Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of the video, today we're going to be doing five things I wish I knew before majoring in computer science. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Adebisi. I do tech and lifestyle videos on my channel. So if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like, but let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So I just graduated from Georgia Tech with a computer science degree and I actually have my diploma. I literally got it like, honestly at this point, like a month ago, but it's official. Um, yeah, so I graduated from Georgia Tech with a computer science degree and I actually made a video a couple weeks ago basically explaining why you should be a computer science major. So if you're considering that, be sure to check out that video and I'll have it linked right here as well as in the description box. But today I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that I wish I knew before I majored in computer science. So the first thing that I wish I knew before majoring in computer science was how much practice coding takes. So for me growing up, I felt like most subjects just kind of came naturally to me. Like I didn't really have to quote unquote practice them, but with coding and programming, it's something that I felt like I really had to practice to be able to do be like any good at it. I thought that everyone who was like getting big name internships literally never practice like i never put it in my mind that people had to practice computer science i thought people were just naturally good at it and that is how they were doing so well in their classes and getting all these amazing internships but that is just not the case computer science takes so much practice and it's something that is just really like if you put in the hours of practicing you are going to get better at it there is a very steep learning curve with it but once you kind of are able to get the foundation and are able to really figure out what exactly you are doing, it's not so bad. If you want to get better at computer science or you're just starting, just be prepared to put in a lot of hours and be prepared to actually have to, you know, sort of work for the major, if that makes any sense. There are, of course, I would say like, those one percent of people that literally they can just look at a problem and they can solve it instantly or they just look at homework and they know immediately what to do but i would say 99 percent of us out there probably will have to practice a lot if you guys watch nick white he did like i don't even know how many leak code problems he has on his channel but he has like hundreds of leak code problems on his channel of him doing and explaining them and that's what made me realize that like oh my god like this guy is so good at programming because he practiced and put in all these hours and has done all these questions so I, I'm not also saying that you need to do a million leak code problems to be good at computer science. I'm definitely not saying that, but I do think that practicing problems and being able to solve things over and over again and being able to just practice is going to get you better at computer science. So the next thing that I did not realize was how stressful and frustrating coding can be. So I feel like everyone kind of like knows about it. Like most people kind of like know, like, you know, coding is really frustrating and, and you know, it can be really hard, blah, 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 blah. But like until you're actually doing it and you have like an assignment due or you're working on a project and you're like, oh my God, I literally cannot figure this out. You do not understand. So one thing that I would say that if you are trying to be a computer science major, the number one thing that you like the number one skill attribute that you need to have is to be tenacious if you are a person that just easily gives up or starts on a problem and gives up after an hour like this is not the major for you if i'm being blunt but i would have moments when i'd be working on homework problems where i would stare at the problem for like two hours and like i would literally get nowhere and then you know i kind of like go on stack overflow and i'm like da -de -da -de -da, like what can i do here and then i'm like oh okay i kind of thought of something and then you know spend the entire day just like sitting there pondering what the hell am i supposed to do to figure out this problem to figure out this project but computer science can be very stressful and i would say that you should allow yourself to be stressed out by it but not to a point where it's like detrimental to your health because i think that you need to be able to you know kind of like ride that thin line between oh my gosh this is so hard but i'm going to figure it out and the other line of like i'm going to die like i literally can't do this anymore so you just really need to learn how to be tenacious and you really need to know that you can solve these problems but it is going to be stressful and frustrating at time you're not gonna be able to just look at every single homework problem every single homework question and know exactly what to do that's not the point of computer science you're problem solving so the next one that I have is something that I actually mentioned quite a bit in my um, why you should be a computer science major and in that one I was saying that computer science is a lot more math theory and statistics than I really ever thought it was and of course this really could just be genuinely because of the threads that I have if you go to Georgia Tech you know what threads are my threads were people and intelligence I feel like I said in every single video but intelligence obviously 
is it's artificial intelligence. So obviously it's gonna get pretty theoretical. I didn't really like comprehend how much math I would need to use in computer science. Like I knew it was kind of mathy, but I didn't really realize that like, oh, okay, we're going to be doing discrete math. Okay, we're gonna be doing combinatorics. Oh, okay, autonomous are is kind of mathy, you know? Like I didn't really expect for us to be in all these different realms of computer science that were so, that were just such like, I didn't even, think about those math levels. There is a ton of math in computer science, so I would say if you are not the best at math, definitely work on that. Um, <laughs> that was such useless help. That was like no, no help at all, but basically you need to be able to, I would say, be good at math. And that's just honestly the case for most um, engineering or computer science majors, like you, that's just kind of the foundation of what it is. But if you feel like you're not too confident in your math skills, it is probably going to be a little bit harder just because a lot of your courses are going to be math classes. And then the fourth one that I have is that there are a lot more domains to computer science than just programming and coding. And this is something, once again, I talked about in my Why I Should Be a Computer Science Major. I talked about all of the different career fields and career paths that you can go into being a computer science major. Of course, when I entered college, I really had no idea of any of the job paths. I I swear I looked them up, but I never, like I had never heard of a UX researcher, UX engineer, UX UI designer. I'd never heard of a pro product manager. I had really never heard of anything except for like a software engineer or developer, but there are just so many career paths in computer science. And I really encourage you to be able to look at whatever your college program is and figure out and kind of see which, where you wanna be aligned in and then take classes or pick a concentration that is more focused in that realm. And then the last one is something that is, I wouldn't really say deep, but it's like really, personal to me in a sense but it is how real imposter syndrome is so in high school i honestly like never had imposter syndrome i was like so confident in my um academics and just like my smartness i don't know feels weird to say that but once i got to college like i swear like all confidence that i had just got like stripped away from me and i think it honestly had to do with just going to a school with like a lot of high achieving smart people not to say that people in my high school weren't but when you're just surrounded by a bunch of people that are like really really smart you kind of feel really really dumb so for me my imposter syndrome is like still ongoing i am f fighting it every day to say that to say the least but Imposter syndrome is something that you probably are going to face when you are a computer science major and especially if you are a minority and a female. I want to just say that you are more than capable of being a computer science major, something that I wish I knew and like I'm still trying to know and still trying to learn, but don't let your mind and your thoughts kind of like talk you down and tell you that you're not meant to be here that you haven't earned this that you don't deserve this that you only earned it based off of some sort of other merit like you are meant to be a computer science major if you want to be one and do not worry about how you are perceived from others or how people think you might have gotten this job or how people think you got into school it doesn't matter because you are meant to be what you want to be i would just say I don't want to say be prepared to have imposter syndrome because that's just like telling everyone that they're going to have imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome, which is not true. But if you do ever come across those feelings of having imposter syndrome, just know that they are super normal. Soup, I said that weird, normal. They're super normal. Like I would say not everyone has imposter syndrome, but a lot more people have imposter syndrome do than you think that they do. People that are seemingly kind of like doing the best and getting the best internships, you know, have the best grades or whatever, they might be feeling it too. And I think it just really comes back to practicing and being confident in your ability and knowing that you can solve those problems and knowing how far that you've made it. Hopefully all of these five reasons are just a couple of warnings of, you know, things I wish I knew before becoming an imposter syndrome, becoming an, of, Things I wish I knew before becoming a computer science major. If you guys have any questions about them, my Instagram DMs are always open. My Instagram is at WC Tom. You can always ask me any question that you want. I will get back to you sometime. And you can also please leave me questions down below if you have any in the comments. And if you have questions about Georgia Tech, whatever, I will always reply. But Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out that video where I talked about why I should be a computer science major and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye guys.